Hi, today I wanted to make a video on the topic of the interface between Christianity and Red Pill. Over the years, the evolution of Christianity with the Red Pill philosophy has yielded some interesting case studies. If one looks at Christianity candidly, he will quickly notice that it plays down the role of men as compared to other religions. In fact, this is what is proudly pointed out by many Christians, designating Christianity as an early pro-woman religion. Even on an inquisitive study, one reaches the same conclusion, and that conclusion is brought about via an interesting factor. Proper masculinity, even as envisioned by Christians, has no place within Christianity. Christianity suffers from a lack of male prominence. This is why Mary, a female, towers above all human beings, at least within Catholicism, while Joseph is reduced to bearer of another's child. Even though interestingly, it is Joseph who accepts Mary, an out-of-wedlock pregnant lady, and then plays an important role in protecting the family from those who want to kill the Christian Messiah. However, all of that work is washed away by a simple claim, a belief that Mary was sinless or had to be sinless, and we do not find any significant information about life of Mary in the Bible that would show that, except for one incident where she accepts Jesus to be brought into her womb, putting down the fear of being ostracized for being a woman of easy virtue. It is also interesting to note that Jesus saves the adulteress, and the incident becomes a flashpoint about how God is forgiving, but the adulterer finds no mention. Jesus is served by the woman who is of questionable character, and he is confronted by a woman who is also of loose character, at the well. What is the common denominator in all of these stories? Is sexual sin committed by women is emphasized to be forgiven, while David, the one who struggled hard and was a golden standard for all, is decimated for his sexual sin. One may argue here that this was because it is only with the advent of Jesus that God began to forgive sins with so much earnest, because Jesus paid the price for all human beings. However, that idea is riddled with theological problems. Even if one accepts it, one finds that the problem lies somewhere else. When God decides to punish David brutally, he explains how David was anointed to high places and given so much. In fact, this argument is echoed when Jesus says, For everyone to whom much is given, from him much will be required. And to whom much has been committed, of him they will ask the more. The concept is interesting because in all the three stories of women who are sinful, they are shown as deserving of pity, moved by circumstances to sin, either in the text or in the interpretation. However, the same is not shown of many of men, including David, who are shown as to have hugged the sin intentionally rather than being moved by circumstances and thus deserving of pity. David's lust does not move him, but the woman at the well monkey branches to five husbands to finally a live-in relationship. It is not clear what moved her, but it is hard to believe that it is anything but lust or greed or pride or a mix of all of these. This gives away the whole Christian concept regarding the attribution of responsibility and pity, which will be a point of discussion in another video. But what is very clear here is that there is an inherent risk with regards to Christianity when someone is hoisted to a high place, and this is under the most charitable interpretation. However, all people, including the lowly, have access to God, and probably equal. David is strong, but he is as prone to affliction of a man's nature as anyone else, as the Bible mentions him weeping several times. Christianity by its own design therefore becomes a religion where laying low becomes beneficial and that becomes a problem for Christians as that is a bane for any civilization. No wonder this idea then gets integrated in concepts like the great American dream or nationalism or Christian masculinism which seek to force prominence artificially. How? That will be the subject of the second video.